are doing micro versus mega RC car race tracks. We're gonna be dropping the ball down the Plinko board to decide if we get to build a micro track or a mega, mega track. track. You drop first. Okay. Glizzos, unleash. What is that? Throwing Glizzos. Unlock the mega, mega donut power. Come on. Ha ha! Glizzos beat donuts every time. I actually wanted micro. Good luck. Since I got the mega track, I want to show the scale of how fast some of these RC cars can go. Basically, I want to just do a big old oval shape like a like an actual racetrack so that on these sides, I can get as much acceleration as possible to then hopefully drift around these corners. You get to see some serious speed, like Sonic. So since I got micro, I want to build the coolest micro RC car track I could find. And I found some inspiration online. Check this out. A bunch of people have been making these homemade tracks just in their houses. And they actually look pretty sick. Thinking if I come up with a cool design like this, decorate it with all these cool micro decorations, and then check this out. I found a micro RC car. It's 176 scale. So literally, this thing is like that big. Got five stars. Order some of these and let's go get some decorations. All right, guys, I'm gonna call a local hobby shop to see if they have any super fast RC cars. Hobby count. Hey, um, I was just wondering, do you guys have any really fast uh, RC cars? Well, we have the four-wheel drive with the Berlinian motor system. How, how much are those? And, and what's their like top speed, do you know? 60 miles an hour. Well, that sounds awesome. I think I will be in a little bit later. All right, love you, bye. I beg your pardon. Currently, we are at a train store here in our town, and the coolest thing about this store is they have a ton of miniature buildings, bridges, like the most crazy attractions. So I feel like this is the perfect store to get all the decorations for my racetrack. Let me tell you, they got some cool stuff. I'm gonna make the coolest RC track micro edition we have ever seen. So we are back from the store with all our supplies, and I think this is going to be the base for our entire racetrack. And thankfully, I have Reese here who's going to help me build this. You gotta lay it out first and figure out how we're gonna design it. Oh man, that's gonna be sick. I better step up my plan, because that's gonna look awesome. This is just way too cool. So we'll be able to put these signs up. If we wire it correctly, they'll be able to light up. Oh man, yours is gonna look awesome. The basic layout design is done. Trust me, it's gonna look nothing like this when you see the final result. Just look at it now, bare bones. So we are going to build an actual frame for our racetrack, because right now it's just sitting on some random table. That's next step. I'm on my way to the store right now to pick up the RC car and then a bunch of supplies for my track. Rick is the biggest real car guy that I know, so I'm taking him along with me. I got you, bro. <laughs> All right, so we're outside Hobby Town. We're gonna go check out these supposedly really fast cars. Guys, this is the RC car section, but look, bro, this is Andrew's car. What? Dude, Andrew would love this, man. You get wheels. Look at the size of these tires. You know anything about which is the best one to get, these RC cars? Well, it depends on what you want. Speed. The speed. VXLs, that's the brushless system. Okay. That's the speed. Okay. 65 so, miles an hour. Right. It just was <laughs> more aerodynamic, so if you see uh, you jumping a lot. Well, we might be jumping. Uh, so Sean was just telling us that apparently, even once you buy these cars, you can upgrade them to make them even faster and more powerful. Like you can change suspension stuff, you can add more durability parts, you can change gear ratios for better performance, differentials, all kinds of stuff like that. Tires, wheels, everything. It's a crazy world I did not know existed. This is awesome. So me and Rick decided we're gonna get one of these each, the 60 mile an hour ones. <laughs> and Justin's gonna be racing too, so we're gonna get him 35 mile an hour one. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the best day of my <laughs> life, man. I'm so pumped. All right, so I'm gonna try and secretly upgrade my car while Rick's paying. There it is, look at that. Rick, do you know what the RC and RC car stands for? Remote control. That's what I thought. Or radio control? Yeah, radio, radio control. Huh, radio control. Yeah, radio Why is yours out of the box? We were just looking at it. Sidewalls going up. 
guys, the RC cars have arrived and look at how dope these are. So I got four, we got these drift cars. Apparently this is some like limited edition anniversary celebration box. It comes with like different body skins so you can change the car out. I just wanna show you how small these are. Insane, look at this. It's like almost smaller than a Hot Wheels. That's the car and then we have the remote control with the same. These things go pretty fast actually. Let's just say things are getting pretty serious over here. So we're gonna unbox these and test them out. A guy, what's his name, Sean? Sean. Sean uh, said that carpet is grippy. I don't agree, man. Sean said that the carpet will add grip for the rubber tire. That doesn't make sense in my head. Whenever I run on carpet, I always fall over. <laughs> Found these way better than carpet. Carpet looks dumb. You don't want, who, who drives on carpet? I don't know what this actually is. I think it's some kind of, whoa, whoa. I think it's some kind of rug. But look at that texture. Oh, dude, that's perfect. That looks like a racetrack right there. Problem is there's only two of them. I want a big track so you can really experience the full top speed. And so I'm gonna need to go see if they have any more of these. All right, man, Plan C. They didn't have any more of these. Ah, uh, I didn't want to come to Plan C. I don't know. <laughs> there's no Plan C. <laughs> plan C. They don't have enough of those either. <laughs> so Plan D. All right, guys, Plan E. We're not doing any kind of flooring. <laughs> we're just gonna stick with the plain concrete and we're gonna get these sweet big old tubes to line our track. That way we don't have to worry about any right angles. Whereas if we have these, we can have a nice long edge so we can drift real, real nice. Oh, I just had a realization. This only covers the outside of the track. We still need an inside of the track. <laughs> Guys, this is not going well. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Okay. Plan E was the one that finally stuck. Let's get back to the warehouse and start building this track. So this is the space that I have to work with pretty much most of the warehouse. Let's get building. It's spray foam time and Reese just had a brilliant idea of building a volcano in the middle here. That is satisfying. This stuff is... <laughs> So fun, look at this guys. Unfortunately, this spray foam takes about eight hours to dry. So in the meantime, we're setting up all the decorations to see what kind of layout we want. This is the first test to see how fast this thing actually goes. All right, bombs away. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? A rocket? We're gonna need a bigger track. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't man. control it. <laughs> You're gonna destroy my little cars, you freak! I can't control it. It doesn't have to have any traction. <laughs> Holy crap! Dude! We need some we need more space! I'm barely holding the trigger! <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh! Turn it off! Oh my gosh! Oh, we're soldering some of these lights together so we can get all this track lit up. So this one's already connected and we're just gonna shove it down underneath the table and then we'll just keep going along and daisy chain all these guys together. Moment of truth. Yay. Tiny little light guys, it'll light up the street for the racers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How did this even happen? I did it for $400. What? Take your finger off the trigger. Turn it off. Whoa, dude. I, did, I didn't do anything crazy. Dude. We didn't even build our track yet. Upgraded. I've upgraded it too much. Upgraded? $400, we got a plastic top, some foam wheels. Some plastic rims. I feel like it goes way too fast for its own durability. We've taken them off, so it should be drivable. Slow. <laughs> okay. What just happened now? Oh man, I was just testing it, dude, and this thing fell off. Dude, what is what is, where does that even go? We need more space. We need more brains. Day three of the micro RC track build. Foam has solidified, so it's time to shape it, add some color, and we should be done. You're supposed to connect into, into these, but it's a lot harder than it, than it looked in the store. We're gonna make a Rocket League field in the middle of our racetrack. So if you don't feel like racing, 
You can play a little bit of soccer. It's it's simple. Simple. No it's soccer. Okay. There might not be as many decorations, but everything at our track is practical. Next up is plaster. So we got the two buckets. We're gonna dump a little in here. This stuff will help us form the mountains, the volcano, all the landscape. And once we spray paint it, it'll actually look pretty natural. It's like a art project. It's looking pretty cool. Obviously, there's not as many intricate details as Justin's, but I don't know. I think it looks pretty sick. I'm also trying to wall off uh, the drywall. Uh, basically, I want to be able to drive as recklessly and crazy as possible, so I'm trying to add padding to any dangerous spots that might break the car, break the wall. We got all the plaster on. It's currently looking like a snow village, which in and of itself is pretty cool. Now we got to use the spray paint and kind of add in the landscape. Look how tiny these trees are. So we're gonna put them all over the map. All right, guys, we are done building. Let's start off with the micro racetrack. Isaac, guys, I'm pleased to introduce to you Wind River Valley Racetrack. I can't tell you guys how excited I am about this. And I have to give most of the credit to Reese because without Reese, it would look a whole lot different than this. Let's show you some of the features. So to start, we have 176th scale RC cars. And these are actually very fast for their size. Four different cars, we got this monster truck. Uh, Rick knows what this is. I think that's a Skyline. Yeah. Are these all Skylines? R34, R34, GTR, and that's a Super. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'll use this car. Which car do you want? That one. Sorry, it's already taken. <laughs> so to start, <laughs> that's right. We'll start here at the starting line. Classic starting line. We got this nice stop light that actually lights up. And you'll notice throughout this racetrack that we have several lighting features. So this is the town's flagship water tower. And my favorite little feature of this is we have Tom back here. He's standing up here with his friends down below telling him he should probably get down because it's not safe. Next up on the track, we have the Rave Refurbishing Warehouse. Rave? So yeah, this is where all the people go. As you can see, they're parked outside. They'll come here, have a nice party, listen to some cool music. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> During the race, if you're skilled enough, this is a shortcut. So you can go through this. Come over this side, we have the j Stu billboard. We have telephone wires, which Reese oh, actually put glue to make it look like Look at the attention to wire. detail on there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what is that? This? Yes. Is that a pig? Yeah, it's a, the neighborhood pig. That's a humongous pig. Look at this pig compared to the people. So light up billboard signs with the bridge. That's cool. With the Ferris wheel. What? Everyone loves a good Ferris wheel. It spins. And my favorite feature, That's awesome. the volcano. This guy is pretty proactive. He's already cleaning it up. Who, who do you think that is? Hey, that looks like a Sasquatch to me. Last but not least, <laughs> the track goes under the bridge. So it's a big old figure eight, technically. So that's it. Man. This is actually pretty awesome. The lights are probably my favorite feature. Oh, speaking of the lights, when you turn off the lights, Ooh. the town comes alive. You ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Check it out. All the city lights can be seen. The volcano's starting to erupt. Lights under the bridge, signs. The party's going ham over here. That's now that we've seen the track, it's time for the race. For today's race, we're going to have three laps. So we got Rick, Isaac, me, and Reese competing. Are you fellas ready? All right, racers, are we ready? Yeah! yeah! Three, two, one, go! Woo! Yes. 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 Oh, 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 yes. 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 Oh, yes. 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 Oh, you're in it. Who's going to still run three cars? Oh, All right, Isaac. Final lap. Final lap. Oh, oh. This might be the only time you ever do three cars. Oh, no. No. Isaac and Rick. Oh, no. What's going on in there? That's me. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Justin, Justin, oh, yeah, Justin, don't get Mikey, Justin! Yeah! Yeah! Look guys, we're competing. You all get a micro trophy. <laughs> micro trophy! Yeah! Three! Yeah! Racers, are you ready? Ready! Yeah! Three, two, one, go! Oh, my car is on the line! Oh, jeepers! Wow! Yes, Matt, yes, Matt, thank you! Oh, no. oh yeah. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Monster is unstoppable. Uh, oops. Wow. Whoa, oh, dude, you get passed by the steel wheel car. Oh my god! You got passed by Rick! You got passed by the steel wheel car! Yeah! Yeah! Oh! 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 Oh!
now Isaac's turn for the mega RC racetrack. Take it away. So obviously there's not as many cool intricate details here, but you didn't come for that. For mega, you just want to see speed and chaos. And that's what we're going to bring you today. Over here, we have one of our cars. You are not ready for the speed on this thing. Let me just, let me just rev the tire a little bit just to give you a taste. That can't be safe in Isn't here. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> okay, so one of these is $400. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Over here we got our nice decorative wall of all of our sponsors. Shout out to Keep the Uppy. Such nice guys for wanting to sponsor this. Yeah, so nice. Next up, we have a literal life-size Rocket League field. Like you actually use the RC cars to play this? Yes. After the race, we'll have to have a 1v1. Okay, so you have one car. Is this just a one car race or what? No, I got three cars for three racers. Me, you, and Rick. So which car's mine? The little guy. Oh, these back tires look a little more beefy than these guys. Yeah, but this one's also has a max speed of 35 miles an hour. These ones go 65 plus. <laughs> so this track is called the Gliz... The gl so this class is called the Gwiz... <laughs> Gliz Waste Weight. <laughs> so this track is called the Gliz Race Race. Yeah, yeah! You did it! There's no funny business on this race course, no crazy weaving around. I know Just, you're not a construction here, but yeah. I'm actually impressed with the raceway for what it is. Really? Yeah. Thanks. All right, guys. So I also have one more surprise. While we race, we're going to be dressed up as racers. Okay. One, two, three. <clears throat> You guys ready to race? Let's do this. So like you guys know, I did upgrade my car, but when I tested yesterday, it was too fast. So now I'm actually starting with a disadvantage because the whole wheel broke. Just like any race, you can't not have a glizzo. And so I hired my own concession guy to go give the fans some food. That's right. Fans. Yeah. I wish I could have a hot dog. Right, so because it's a lot faster, we're going to do a 10 lap race. Racers, are you ready? Yeah. My broken tire is causing me a lot of problems. We're coming up on the final lap. Please. Oh, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My car died. It's just, it won't move on the track. Look at that bad boy. Mm. I love this guy at the racetrack if I do so so myself. Want some glizzo? I'll do my nose. Good, huh? All right, phase two, we're putting a ramp in the middle of the course. Nice job. Ow. My car's back in business. Sometimes you just gotta turn it off and turn it back on again. No. <laughs> my wheel, my whole wheel came off. Justin versus Rick. All right, so we're playing a one goal, first to score wins. Simple as that. Three, two, one, go! So for winning both competitions, the Glizzo <laughs> Racetrack Award goes to Rickolas Douglas. Yes. Well guys, let us know in the comments which, which racetrack you like better and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.